Hi, my name is Andy Pardo. I'm the engineering manager for installed loudspeaker systems at Electra Voice. Uh, and I'm here today to talk a little bit about the technology inside the MTS loudspeaker. This is Electra Voice's loudest, highest output point source box ever made. And the one behind me is the 40 by 30 dispersion one, which is the loudest of the range. Um, so we do four basic models. We've got a 40 by 60 or 60 by 40, depending on which way you rotate it. We've got a 40 by 30. Um, and both of those come in cardioid versions, which I'll talk a bit more about in a minute. Okay, so what's inside the box? Well, you've got this very large constant directivity horn and right inside the heart of the loudspeaker, you've got two coaxial compression drivers. Now these are manifolded together on a low lost waveguide that then drives out through this main constant directivity horn. And there are four 15 inch bass drivers mounted around that that give you the mid bass and mid frequencies coming out straight out the front. And they're also reflex loaded with this perimeter port around the edge. So why have we got this? Well, product management came up to us and said, we need a loudspeaker that does 150 dB at one meter. Now you might say, well, why do I need 150 dB? Because that's like far too much. But actually that gives you at about 600 feet or a couple of hundred meters, that gives you over 95 dB continuous. That's maybe nearly up to 98 dB continuous at 600 feet. At 200 feet, then you're talking more like 110 continuous, 120 peak. So that means you can put one of these speakers pretty much anywhere and it'll give you the coverage and the level that you need. Um, during the development of this, we, we look back at some of the original Electra Voice des designs. So one of the designs that really inspired me was the MT4 systems. This is the touring systems from the 80s. Uh, and also the MH horns because they had a really long throw. And then for the waveguide in the center, um, we looked at the Hydra technology that's been used in the line rays. I've got one here. So this is the low loss Hydra. Two compression drivers mount on the back here. And this transfers the waveform from a circular hole here into a strip radiator here. And that sets up the vertical angle right at the base of the horn. And then the horizontal angle is dependent on whatever you put on here and the constant directivity horn after it. Even this was a bit of a feat of technology because you're putting maybe about 80 to 100 acoustic watts through each hole here. So that's a huge amount of acoustic power. And that doesn't just move air, but that actually causes large pressures to try and um, deform the walls of this. Now it's, it's difficult to see, but this actually has a very thick 3D section. So this is a very high mass part, a very high stiffness part. And that's all done to contain that acoustic wave within it. This is the 4030 cardioid version. So around the back, I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's another 15 inch driver either side in the back. And while the directivity is controlled by this large horn down to about maybe 300 Hertz, it starts to gradually widen out. And then once that gets to maybe the, the 90 degree mark, um, we can't really control it anymore below 200 Hertz. So we add two more woofers in the back and then that stops that from widening out any further. And you actually get a full directivity full bandwidth directivity control all the way from the very low frequencies all to the very high frequencies. The speaker's got M10 mounting points all the way around the edge. Uh, we don't supply any rigging hardware other than eye bolts. You can very simply put four eye bolts in the top, hang it up and away you go. You've got a full system. There's four basic models of MTS and that's available in black and white. And we also have a partially weatherized version for indoor usage or undercover or we have a fully weatherized version, which is okay for full exposure to sun, rain, and all of the elements. And that's guaranteed with a warranty up to five years. This is one of the most difficult challenges in the engineering because we have to get a wood box with plastic parts, with electrical parts, with soft parts in the woofers that vibrate. The cones are made of paper and we have to weatherize all of this so that it lasts five years. The box is fully coated on the outside and the inside with a polyurea, which is similar to a truck bed lining. So that's really hard. The, the woofer cones are weatherized in, inside the actual cone and also an additional weatherization on the surface. So the reason why we made this was to solve a problem in the field. There's nothing out there that could give this kind of throw with this kind of clarity and the full bandwidth production. 
this speaker doesn't need subwoofers. You can get a good rock and roll sound with good bass at a distance with just this loudspeakers. If you do want concert level performance or you know, drum and bass or dance music, that kind of thing, then you can augment it with subwoofers. And this goes perfectly with the X12-128. It's actually exactly the same height, exactly the same width. So you can fly several in an array, makes it very easy for the installers to integrate it.